Well, hello, guys. Hey, I've got a Peroni tonight because I've got no work tomorrow. I had to drive down there and just get there before they closed to get some Peronis. Normally, I kind of wind down on this night, get ready for work the next day. But tonight, I'm pretending it's a big party time. I may think differently tomorrow when I don't feel quite as 100%, but anyway. You guys may or may not know that I've got about four channels. Two on UT. One is Mr. Bonk 85, my original channel. The other one is Solo Man. And I've got a bit shoot channel called Coconut Man. And, of course, I've got a MGTOW TV one called Solo Man 2. Now, Mr. Bonk 85 was my original channel. That's what I used to put the old skits on, like with the Star Trek and all that. And there used to be a hell of a lot of comments on there. We used to talk about how I did it and everything else. And it was a good channel for a while. But people are more interested in drama nowadays and being angry. And my UT channel for Solar Man used to have quite a lot of people chatting on it, talking, comments. But then all of a sudden the comments started disappearing. And people used to say to me, the comments are gone. So really they've been censoring the UT channel Solar Man for quite some time. But every now and then I get bombed on there by feminists or something, where they all just kind of tell them to attack this video. And they put loads of dislikes on it and put a load of different comments. But then they all just kind of go away, like a swarm. And I've had to block a few people on UT, on the Solar Man channel, but not that many. Of course, the comments aren't so much anymore because people aren't bothered writing anything because it just disappears. Well, at least if they're honest. And it's UT way of sort of closing a channel down. Because without the feedback and the comments, the channel is not really anything, is it? Then there's BitChute. BitChute's the channel that if I put a femon on there with a low-cut sort of top, I get far more hits than anything else. But it's also the place where I get all the nasty comments. And I can't believe how vindictive some people can be. And I've lost count the amount of people I've had to block on BitChute. Sometimes I know it's a femon, but they're trying to be a male. The trouble is, femons are so vindictive that they can't help themselves. So when they write something, you know it's a femon. Because they're more into personal text to you, instead of, say, the video. Of course, then there's MGTOW TV. Now, this used to be a very good place quite some time ago. Lots of comments, lots of decent people here. But nowadays, there's not that many left, is there? I don't believe I've blocked anybody, or maybe, I think, maybe two people in all the time I've been here. But I know my days are kind of numbered on them social media, because I'm getting a little bit too old for all of it, and people are starting to be very nasty. I can make videos that are more trending, if you know what I mean, but I just want to make what I want to make. I do like people to comment on my videos, of course. But I'm going to make a video for me, and not just to get more hits, because that's never been my way. And just to clear things up, I don't hate femons. I haven't been hurt real badly by a femon. I criticize femons when they need to be criticized, because the media won't. But I'm not going to appease femons just so I can get in their pants, because I don't want to get in their pants. I've already been in their pants, it's not all that, guys. Any of you guys sort of play truant at school, you know how that means? Pretend to go to school, but you don't. They were always good days, those. And that's what I'm doing right here. I could have gone to work tomorrow, but I'm not. So it's kind of like I'm playing truant. And I'm drinking beer. You have a good night, guys. And take it easy.